Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of the ATD video uh, series. So in the last episode we kind of fixed the inventory. And we kind of made the delete function, I think. Or I think we just fixed box maybe. Well, anyways, today we are going to work on the filter. Like, kinda. So, let's get right started on this. So, the first... So, there will be, like, three filters, I guess. Or, like, a bit less. So, the inventory. Let's get into the scripts here for the inventory. We want to have a table of the local filters. And let's create this table. And let's get the first filter to... Like... Let's get one is equal to, sorry, I think yeah, one is equal, no, go like this, and we can just do one and then is equal to like this, and then we can set this to like the first for that it's getting automatically applied will be rarity. And then the second filter, which we can do, would then be not rarity, but maybe like the cost. And then the third is going to be, well, the, yeah, we can just have two. So yeah, there's cost and rarity. And of course the third one or the zero one is just equal to none. So it's zero, one and two and we basically want to loop through these. And yeah, we want to, I think we just want to, wait, let me get this out of the way here. And let me just set, this one's true, and well, let me get this in those brackets, and let me set the other two to false. So that's the none filter true, and the other filter is well not true. And now we gotta code in like the filter stuff. So let's get the filter button. I don't know if we have it. And we have the filter. So let's go filter. The multiple one click connect function. So we basically just want to well filter all through this. So when we click the button, we first of all want to check if filters and then get the none but then so if this is true then filters and then we set this to none is equal to false then the filters with the rarity is equal to true and the filters with the cost is equal to false and now we can copy this, paste it here, and get an else in front of this. And then just check for a different condition. So if this is the rarity, then you want to set none to false, rarity to false, and the cost to true. And then else if the one is the cost, then we just want to set the cost to false and the none to be true we don't need the rarity one but yeah this is just our filter principle so yeah what we want to do is also we can do filters dot text oh wait do we have it as a oh yeah filter filter dot text label text is equal to filter and then we can set like I 
like a kind of like a thing in here so oh yeah we don't even need this we can just do it like this then we can set this to rarity and we can just copy this and here put it to cost and then here put it back to null we also want to copy this text and paste it into the text label for standard usage because the first filter is going to be none. Of course, remove the parentheses there. And then we want to pretty much organize this table. So we can do if filters and we can do the variety first. Then go to table.salt. We want to sort the stored units and we want to function this with a comma b and then we want to return and now I gotta see how this is how we set this up. Okay so we have the unit table here and we set the unit table to be stored units. We have the rarity here. And yeah, so let's return a dot rarity is bigger than b dot rarity. And let's try this out. Go to inventory, click on the rarity. And yeah, you can see that the button works, but the rarity filter isn't doing something. And this is because our rarities are, of course, not numbers, but yeah, different things. Not like numbers, but we have like different strings. So if we check in here, we have like the rarity of a uncommon and we want to sort this out and since this isn't like a number we actually want to get a rarity table so let's scroll up and let's get a rarity table so let's do this below here local rarity values so go to a table and then let's get the common equal to one as a number and then we can copy this whole line and just paste it like five times. Then we have the uncommon, of course, which is then going to be a two. Then we have the rare. We have the epic. And lastly, we have the legendary. And the rare is going to be a three, the epic is going to be four, and the legendary is going to be five. And now that we have this table, we can pretty much apply this down here. And yeah, so let's do this. So what we want to do is in the rarities, we want to sort not a rarity, but we want to sort pretty much rarity values. And then we want to index this with a dot rarity. And then we want to put rarity values. And we want to index this with b dot rarity. And then else if. the filters cost then what we want to do is we want to table that sort and again we want to sort the start unit stale and we also want to get a function with a and b again and this time we want to return a dot cost is bigger than b dot cost since the cost is actually a number so this will yeah increase like it will descend down. And lastly, we want to generate the inventory. And yeah, let's try this out and see if our filtering works. So let's go to the inventory, create the filter, and you can see that it filters the units pretty much by rarity. Well, not that well. And by cost. It also does not. Oh, 
Well, let me see. So we return this here, the rarity. And yeah, let, I'm gonna just wipe my inventory. And just, yeah, I got a, like new data store, fresh data store. And we got some units. Got like three units now. We can try this out. So with the rarity, it's just doing the same thing again. Like different times. Let's see if it even refreshes it. So let's go here and then let's print rarity here. And let's print cost here. And let's see if it does anything. Yeah, rarity, cost, and nothing. Okay. I can, I see. Then we need to, yeah, get the stored units, I'll just print it. Get the stored units, and then what we want to print is, we basically just want to print this here. The comma though. And then let's see what happens if we press this. We have two and two and three and two because we have two with the two and one with the three but the three should theoretically be in the front then okay so i think i know what's causing the issue it's because we don't well sort it with everything but just update it once Okay, so what we can try is we can try to clean up before and then regenerate. There's still nothing. Well, let me see if we touch table again in the generate function. Oh yeah, well, we add it to the stored table. We call it clean up there. But in this case, we actually want to regenerate the unit table here. So let's get this here. Let's cut this out. And then let's paste this in here. And then let's paste this up here before the unit table, like right here. And so then it's done with the stuff. And then it's just, yeah, doing this pretty much. Well, what we want to do is we want to let's get the unit table and so we are we saw the stored units. Okay, I really don't know why this is happening. Like, it's not even printing anymore. Okay, let me see. So let me just put this here. Okay, still nothing. Get it all the way down here. Okay, still nothing. I'll work on a fix for the next episode though. Because I don't really have the time because I, I gotta make like one more video. So I'm going to fix this until the next episode. Sorry that I can only leave you like on the open like this. But if anyone in the comments knows and fix, then it yeah, just tell me and see you in the next part.